Hey everyone, Derek here from Wayscript. In this one, let's wrap up our email marketing content and look at how we can do analytics on a mailing list. This will be a simple tutorial, so let's jump right in. Starting out with a new script on Wayscript, we'll just assume that we already have an email mailing list that we want to do some analytics on. For this example, I'll just use a create variable step and I'll paste in this list, which will have a list of emails that we'll work with. I'm just using this as an example, but depending on where your mailing list is, we can pull in the module that we would need to pull in that information. For example, if your mailing list was in a database, we could pull in the SQL module. If you were working with a mailing list in MailChimp, we could pull in that module as well. We try to make it as easy as possible to integrate your services together. But working with this list, Let's just see how we can do some simple analytics on it. We'll do this by using Python. What makes Wayscript so powerful is that whenever we create variables or pull in information from other services, what we're doing is creating a Wayscript variable down here in the bottom left that we can access. This means that we can work with this variable seamlessly using a programming language of our choice. We'll use Python in this tutorial. And what we'll first need to do is to read in that variable as a Python variable. We'll say email list will be equal. And the way that Wayscript stores Wayscript variables is in this variables dictionary. So we'll access it using its key. Now, if we were to print email list, instead of it being stored as a Wayscript variable in this dictionary that we see over here, we should just get back a Python list. We'll run code and we see that's exactly what we get. We get a Python list back that has all that information, so we can work with this just like how we would any other Python list. In this example, let's figure out the domain that has the most people signed up, so we can target their organization and send them emails. We'll do this using a loop first, and then we'll do a few more analytics using a Python list comprehension. So using our loop, we'll say for every element in our email list, we'll create a placeholder variable, and we'll say I, and we'll split that string on that A character. Split will give us two values, the string before and after that character. So what we need to do is to append that placeholder, and we need to only append that second one. To pull that out, we'll index in the first position. So at this point, let's print new email list, new email list and we should just get back a list of all the domains which we do we're only working with a very limited number of emails here but you could imagine that we had thousands and we wanted to figure out which companies had the most people signed up on our platform so let's go through and count the occurrences of each of those domains we'll create a variable something like count occurrences and this time we'll use a list comprehension we'll say something like x to store the domain and then we'll say new email list dot count, and then we'll pass in x. We'll do this for x. We need to close this parentheses. So for x in, since we only want to count each domain once, we'll cast on a set type. So this will get rid of all the duplicates in our list. And then we'll say new email list. Now we should be able to say print count occurrences. Once that executes, we see that we get back the occurrence and how many times it occurs using this list comprehension. So in just a few steps, we've already figured out the most common domains in our email mailing list. This might be useful in case you want to create custom emails to send to people of the same organization. To send those emails though, we need to be able to pull out all the emails from that organization. So in this example, let's say that we want to target HTML.com. We can say something like target email list. We'll use another list comprehension. Then we'll just say I for I in email list if the string that we want HTML.com in I. So all we're saying is if this string is located in each of these emails, add it to this new list. What we'll do next is say variables target email list 
is equal to the Python variable target email list. So what this line is doing is the same way that we read this variable out of the Wayscript dictionary of variables, we can write other variables back into it. Now, when we hit run code, we should have a new list populated down here, which we do. We'll clean that up, and then we can pass that very succinctly as a list onto any module that we want to use later on in our workflow. So for example, as you've already seen, we can create custom HTML and send that to each of those users in that emailing list. If we wanted to pass those emails onto the rest of our team, we could integrate Google Sheets and write those to a Google Sheet with public access. If we wanted to make a web page that has those email addresses available, we could use an HTTP trigger and an HTTP response to do that. There's a ton of different ways we can use that information, but I wanted this video to be a brief tutorial on how we can start performing analytics on a mailing list. And that wraps up this one. I hope you see just how powerful Wayscript is. These operations could be very complex on other platforms, but using Wayscript is just the same as using Python on our local machines. So we're able to do all these operations very quickly. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let us know. Until next time.